Hello everyone, uh, back with a rant. Uh, I know it's going to be surprising since uh, I just did one a few days ago and um, I want to thank everybody first off for all the uh, good emails and uh, comments and support of you know my rants and I appreciate all the viewers out there. But this is a non-comic book rant. Just something to throw out there that I've been thinking about. That uh, a couple days ago Everybody should know or has heard, even if you're not a sports fan, that the owner of the Los Angeles Clippers, a gentleman by the name of Donald Sterling, had made a racist comment and made derogatory comments towards African Americans to, uh, on audio tape. Now, uh, I am a basketball fan. I come from San Diego. I have been a Clippers fan since 1979. And so... Uh, this kind of hits home to me because being a Clippers fan, I follow them more closely than I do other teams. Now, to set the record straight before I say what I'm going to say, Donald Sterling is a straight douchebag. There is no place in society today for any type of racism, for any type of uh, bigotry or hatred towards people, and that's Hatred towards anybody for any reason, whether it's, uh, in this case, uh, race, you know, racial orientation, race, the color of their skin, uh, whether it's religion, uh, sexual orientation, there's no place for it. I despise anybody who is racist or does not like something strictly because of their beliefs or what they do. I, I have no stomach for it. I don't. Donald Sterling, you're a douchebag. But with that said, there are some things that I do not agree with. Number one, whenever something like this comes out, everybody jumps on the, the firestorm and throws the gasoline on the fire. You know, this needs to be done, this needs to be done. And I've read boards and watched YouTube videos and heard, listened to the news and everything. Okay, look, Donald Sterling making a derogatory comment towards African Americans. This is not the first time the man's done it. The man, like I said before, he's a douchebag. He's an idiot. He's a racist. The world would be a better place without him. How they've let him keep the team this long is beyond me. But they did. Okay? Now, a person, there's a lot of people out there screaming and hollering, he should be thrown in jail and he should be this and he should have this taken away from that taken away from Look. Even though there is no place in my world or in my belief system for somebody who spews hate towards other people, living in this country, which in my opinion is the greatest country in the world, gives you the rights and freedoms to have freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom to express an opinion, whether you agree with those opinions or not, whether they are positive in nature or hateful in nature. It is his right to say what he wants to say. I don't agree with it. You don't agree with it. No one should agree with it. But there are people out there that do agree with it. What I do agree with is the right for free citizens to say and do what they want in this country. Why? Because lots and lots of good men and women have sacrificed their lives to give you that right. I served in the military. My son currently serves in the military, did his time, served in Iraq. I'm sure a lot of you have not, if you haven't served in the military, know somebody who has. Had relatives who served in World War II. Sacrifices have been made by brave men and women for the right of free Americans and a jerk-off such as Donald Sterling to say what he feels without fear of prosecution. I saw something where a guy said they should snatch him up in the middle of the night and take him out and do something to him. Make sure he's never seen again. It's an opinion that he said doesn't make it right. But we're not living in a third world country where 
you have to be afraid to make a comment. You'll pay your consequences. You'll pay consequences, but not from the government. The NBA can't make him sell his team. They can make it hard for him. He's going to lose sponsorships. He's already lost tons of sponsorships, and he should. The comment was insensitive. But it's not the first time he's made comments like that. That's what I don't understand. He was sued a few years ago and lost a lawsuit for treating minorities poorly in the apartment complexes and units that he owns in the Los Angeles area. The NAACP stated, we're not going to give him his Man of the Year award for all the great things he does for people of color and ethnic groups. He shouldn't. But you've already given him one award. This was going to be his second award. He has a history of doing this. The guy is a douchebag. I've said it a thousand times. He's a douchebag. But he's a douchebag who unfortunately lives in a country that he's allowed to express an opinion. If that's the way he feels, that's his right. I don't like it. You don't like it. It's his right. You can't take that away from people, no matter how you feel or how strongly opposed of it you are. I'm a huge Clipper fan. We're in the playoffs right now. I decided not to wear my Clipper shirt ever again until Donald Sterling no longer owns the team. Decision I've made. I'm not going to do anything that supports this gentleman. I'm still going to watch the team because it's my team. It was my team before he owned it. It's my team now. You don't have to like the man. I'd punch him in the face if I could. But you can't. You have to honor the rights of free citizens to express an opinion, whether it's, you know, an individual message of hope and goodwill and love, or a hate message, which you don't have to listen to. You don't like what's on television, turn the channel. You don't like what's on the radio, turn the station. You don't want to listen to what Donald Sterling has to say? Don't listen to him. Don't buy his shirts. Don't, don't go, don't attend his games. That is your right as a free citizen. It goes two ways. Everybody wants to live in a utopia. I would love to live in a utopia where everybody gets along. Everybody loves each other. Unfortunately, that's not the society we live in. We have idiots and bigots and douchebags out there that go out there and do their thing, and it turns my stomach. That's the one thing I cannot stomach more than anything in the world is hatred and bigotry. I hate that. I hate the N-word. I hate everything about it. But there's a lot of people that are racist. Whether it's rappers or whoever. They just don't say it. Donald Sterling said it. And now he's receiving the backlash, which he should. But you can't sit there and say that he doesn't have the right to say it. Because he does living in this country. I've had friends who've lost their life fighting for this country, and if you take away the rights and freedoms of these citizens, the things that they sacrifice their life for means nothing anymore. So, again, I do not agree with Donald Sterling. I think he's a douchebag before everybody starts jumping on the wagon saying that I'm condoning what he's doing. In no way am I condoning what he said. But I am defending his right to say it. Because you have the same right to say something if you feel the need to say it. Just like I have the right to say something as the right to say it. I can come on YouTube, I can express an opinion, you can watch that opinion, you don't have to watch that opinion. Doesn't mean it's right, doesn't mean it's wrong. Again, Donald Sterling is a douchebag. He's a hateful individual 
that I have no time for. But better men than him gave the ultimate sacrifice so we can enjoy things in this country. And I'm not going to take that away from anybody and tarnish the sacrifice that those men and women made. Because now you're slapping them in the face. Because then they did, not, they did it for nothing. And I will not allow that to happen. Not to me at least. So, it was a rant. It was all over the place. You didn't like, if you liked it, great. If you didn't like it, I'm sorry. Um, I do want to give a shout out to a few people that have been supportive. Uh, and this isn't everybody. This is just a few. Uh, John DeRosa has always been there. Thank you. Super Jolie Tall. I think I said that right. I'm not sure if I did. Uh, Bozzy Film. Strictly Comics. Thank you. And Have Heart 1990. And also one, a comment that was made on my last video, which I was very surprised because I watch his videos as well, which is Poet Skinny. So uh, thank you, Poet Skinny, for watching the videos. And again, keep doing what you're doing. Um, I hope everybody enjoys what I'm doing. I hope you enjoy the videos. Again, you're not going to agree with everything that I say. Um, I certainly don't agree with what Donald Sterling said. And I appreciate the support. I will get more videos out there. Again, this was just a quick little rant because it was just something that I felt needed to be said. So, uh, as always, I hope you liked the video. But if you didn't, nothing I can do for you. Have a great night.